may mga nagtatanong from our comments kung ano ba yung mga options na pwede nilang makuha like saan sila pwede magstay kung ano yung klaseng accommodation makukuha nila and all those kind of stuff Hi guys, so my name is Kiko from Kiko Speaks and welcome to my channel. This is Kiko Speaks channel. At kung ito yung first time nyo para mapanood yung aking video, please consider subscribing on my videos so that you'll get more updates on our following or our next videos. So, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa rental ng accommodation. Bilang student, Marami tayong mga options actually. May mga nagtatanong from our comments kung ano ba yung mga options na pwede nilang makuha. Like, saan sila pwede magstay, kung ano yung klaseng accommodation makukuha nila, and all those kind of stuff. And today, this is what we are going to discuss. So, stay tuned. So, yun nga, medyo malamig ngayon. Although, it's already spring, sabi nila. Parang first day of the spring season kaya medyo naka mm, t-shirt tayo <laughs> anyway this week is the first week of coronavirus self quarantine i mean yung mga tao is na si self quarantine sila para alam mo na maiwasan yung ano para maiwasan yung spread ng virus sa community and we don't want to be part of that headache of the government and of the people na pwedeng maka-acquire ng ating sakit na daladala natin. We may not be affected, but some people who have weak immune system, eh, we don't want to cause them any pain. I mean, we don't want to cause any harm to these people. So, kahit na ma malakas yung resistensya natin, pero may mga taong weak, pag daladala natin yung virus, from outside, tapos pinasok natin sa loob ng isang community or isang house, eh, pwedeng sila yung maka-acquire instead of us. So, parang this is the second-hand way of transmitting virus to people. So, yun. At sa mga students na nagbabalak, pumasok ngayong semester na to, which is the um, summer, eh, may mga precautionary measures na dapat natin gawin bago tayo pumunta dito. Kaya kailangan natin mag-prepare. Kasi being prepared, it's something that we can actually do to avoid the coronavirus, to avoid being inflicted with this kind of illness. So, yun. So, going back to our topic about students' accommodation dito sa Canada, there are different options that we can have. And there are multiple channels that you may want to consider checking if naubusan na kayo ng mga resources. But before we dive into that, let me first tell you how much is the usual um, payment sa mga, or rental sa mga accommodations dito. Like for example, if you chose to do an in-house, I mean, on-campus accommodation that would cost you about 900 to 1,000. It depends really on the season, it depends on the semester, it depends on the year. In the year na papasok ka dun sa school. And another option is to go outside of the campus which will cost you about 450 as maybe the minimum. Medyo mahirap na rin makahanap ng 450 ngayon. Depende kung kakilala mo yung tao. Up to $800. Maybe 1,000. Meron pa ako nakikita ng 1,000 na um, post tungkol dun sa mga pinaparenta nilang one bedroom or yung iba may kasama pa doon depende siguro sa location yon for example doon sa Scarborough Town Center may mga condominium doon na nagpaparenta ng about 800 to 1000 per room tapos yung iba may share pa which is really mahal so if you have the budget then maybe you can take it but if you don't have the budget then you may want to check other options nasasabing ko ngayon right now so yun nga, kung may budget ka, you can go to the school's accommodation, which is beside lang nung campus. For example, in Centennial, meron kaming school accommodation doon na katabi lang talaga ng school. Tapos, it would range from 900 to 1,200, I guess. Kasi may mga kaklase ako internationally na doon nakatira at the moment. And although malay siya sa mga pasyalan, sa mga lugar na pwede mong puntahan, like mall like um parks pero if you are gearing towards 
an accommodation next to the campus para hindi ka na magbiyahe or something like that then you can actually choose that accommodation pero kung wala ka naman budget then these other options might help you as well so first is yung kgg.com maraming nakapost doon whatever region you will be studying pwede yung galing sa kababayan natin or from a different nationality and second to that is the um, oh by the way i will put the links below para meron kayong guide kung saan sila makikita i uh, just see that in the comment below second to that is the facebook marketplace if you have the app the facebook app you can just go ahead and swipe it in the facebook marketplace that is i think second tab doon sa facebook account ninyo tapos makikita niyo doon yung iba't ibang options like real estate like rental like cars and other stuff na pwede niyo makita but if you want to see the different accommodations na available through the Facebook marketplace then you may go ahead and download the Facebook app if you don't have it already and then go ahead and check it on the rental tab marami kayo makikita doon the same price is actually posted sa KGG at sa Facebook Marketplace. What I am only trying to say is kung ano yung sources na pwede nyong tignan para makahanap kayo ng accommodation when you get here. Okay? And finally, Facebook ng Centennial College of Campus Housing Facebook group. This one, it's different from the Facebook Marketplace kasi yung Facebook Marketplace is a general marketplace for everything. But for this certain group, eh, naka-specify ito sa mga Centennial students lang. Pero may mga ibang tao din na nagpo-post ng mga accommodations na available for other students for other schools like York, like Seneca, like, you know, name it. So, hindi lang siya for Centennial students, pero meron din mga postings from other accommodations na malapit sa ibang schools. So, hindi lang siya for Centennial students, but it's also available for other students na nag sa ibang schools like the one that I've told you about. And if you have any questions about these accommodations or any other things na pwede nyong itanong, you can just go ahead and put them in the comment below so that me and the other members of this community, I mean, Kiko Speaks community, can answer. So, before you come here sa Canada, this season, I mean, alam naman natin na merong coronavirus, di ba? Ang nangyayari is, may nababalitan ako na hindi agad tumatanggap yung mga landlords ng mga tenants from international students kasi nga doon sa coronavirus. So, ang dapat yung gawin is if you are into this coming semester, I mean this summer term of 2020, it's either you choose to defer. If you did not defer, then you need to book a um, Airbnb or a hotel or motel for 14 days. Tapos, doon kayo muna mag-self-quarantine. Kasi kailangan din ma-make sure ng landlord na safe kayo physically and you know, you have a good health bago nila kayo patuloyin doon sa kanilang bahay. So, kung pupunta kayo ngayon, kailangan mag-plan ahead na kayo kung anong dapat yung gawin. Like, you need to add certain budget for this kind of quarantine days or quarantine period para at least, you know, maging safe kayo in terms of um, settling in Canada if this is your first time. So, that's all for now. This is once again Kiko Speaks and thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for subscribing and see you again next time on Kiko Speaks. Bye-bye!